So what I'm going to do now is show you some techniques that works on these very important muscles that are between the shoulder blades or between the scapula. So first I want to talk a little bit about the anatomy here. It's very, very important. You are going to have uh, some muscles that are going to go from the spinous processes and they're going to come at a diagonal like this and they're going to go on both sides. In fact, they're called the Christmas tree muscle, the rhomboids, and they're going to attach onto the border of the scapula. And I'm going to focus on those muscles first, and then I'm going to work on uh, relaxing them by stretching them by working underneath the scapula. So if you look at this model, I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing. Because remember, the, study, the uh, definition of massage is the study of anatomy and braille. I'm going to be finding that vertebral border, also called the medial border of the scapula, and I'm going to use his shoulder to push back and lift it up, and I'm going to take the, the edge of my fingers and I'm going to slide it under there, and I'm going to try to create some space. Because sometimes far too many people have these scapulas kind of glued to their rib cage, so we're going to try to release some of that tension uh, between those muscles. And so first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some, take my fingertips. You can use a fist, but I'm going to use my fingertips. And you can just do circular friction. And one of the phrases we're going to be teaching you in massage school is called stick and stay. So you're going to stick your fingers into the tissue and they stay on the skin while you're moving the skin over the underlying structures. This is a really effective technique for getting to uh, to some trigger points here. And you can go over back onto the top of the scapula, but right now we're gonna focus on the tissues between the scapula. So when you get that nice and loose, you can do a couple different things. Now, I'm gonna show you how to work under the scapula, and the way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna take my left arm, and I'm going to let his arm rest on my forearm like this. And I'm having my hand kind of cup the top of his shoulder like this, okay? And this is gonna be kind of uh, a movement that I can use to work underneath the scapula. Now, I'm, and I, I, I can either use the edge of my hand, but I think for him, I'm gonna to have to use my fingertips. So I've lifted the scapula up, uh, and then I'm gonna take my fingers, I'm gonna go underneath. And I'm gonna rock that shoulder back, how's that feel? Good. Feels good, okay. And by the way, this is Robin, my model for the day. And you can really work that tissue underneath. You can also get a little bit of subscapularis in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna ask him to hug himself. When he hugs himself, it's gonna take that muscle and it's gonna move it apart from each other. So hug yourself a little bit, there you go, wonderful. How's that feel? Yeah, very good. Very good, better? And this is a great move that you can do on those rhomboid muscles. And in, in massage, we call this um, uh, reposition and rework. So here is one position. Here is a second position. And this is a third position. So you want to get them in different skeletal positions, and that's going to reposition the architecture of the muscle. So another move I'm going to show you here is called the can opener. And the way that it works is you take your elbow and you, you flex it, and then you flex and extend your elbow like this. So he's gonna feel the point of my elbow, sharp and then not so sharp. How's that feel? Not too sharp, okay. How's that feel? Sharper. Sharper, okay. So again, you can do several different things here. And when you're dealing, because he, he has more space here, now drop that both, both arms again. When he drops his arm, it, sh it shortened it by about an inch and a half, okay? So uh, you can actually go farther away from the backbone and toward the, sh uh, toward the edge of the scapula when he hugs himself. Now go ahead and hug yourself again. See how they moved apart quite a bit here. So again, you can take your fingers or you can take your elbows and move into those tissues. Also drop your head a little bit for this one. There you go. By having him drop his head, I'm also causing some lengthening of that tissue. And when you work the tissue in its lengthened position, when they go back to normal, you drop your arms now, you're going to increase the muscle's resting length. 
and that's really kind of what you're after. Reducing the tension and increasing your muscles resting length.